This is Nick with logosbynick.com, and in this tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can create quick and easy arrows using Adobe Illustrator. So let me come over here into a new document. I'm going to grab the pen tool which is located over here in your toolbar, or you could press the letter P on your keyboard. I'm going to click on the canvas to create a point like that, and then I'll hold shift and bring this line straight across the screen like that, and click again to create another point, and then press enter on the keyboard to close the path. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take this line and we're going to turn it into an arrow. So to do that, let's open up the stroke menu. So I'm going to come over here to where it says window and I'm looking for where it says stroke right here. Now over here in the stroke menu, if you come down to here to where it says arrowheads, you can use these two input boxes right here to place arrowheads at either end of the stroke. So this over here is the start point of the stroke. This over here represents the arrowhead that you can place on this end. If you come over here to the other side, over here on the right, you can place the arrowhead over here on this end, like that. Now, if you notice, it's kind of small, probably hard to see. So I'm going to change the size over here. If I come up here to where it says weight, I'm going to hover my cursor over that input box right there and just roll up the mouse wheel. And it's going to increase the size of the arrow. Now, if you notice, both the base and the arrow head are in increasing at the same time. If I want to make the base bigger, but the head smaller, what I can do is I can come over here to the arrowhead and right beneath it you have this scale input box right here. I'm going to hover my cursor over that and just roll down the mouse wheel. And as you can see the arrow head is getting smaller while the arrow base remains the same size. So I'm going to increase the base of the arrow some more by coming up here. And then I'll bring down the size of the arrow head a little more to accommodate it. And there you go. As you can see we have a little arrow here. Now if you want you can just cycle through here and see all of the different options you have for uh, placing arrowheads on here. You can even put a tail on the other end of your arrow using this option over here. Let me show you if I choose uh, this option right this option right here you can see it adds a triangle to the tail of the stroke like that. Now let's uh, try this one instead. We have this one right here. You can place that on the end of the arrow and so on and so forth. You get the idea. So let me remove that. I'm just going to create a very basic arrow for now. And now once I'm done with that, I can move the stroke menu out of the way. In fact, I can dock this over here in case I want to get back over there. And what you can do now is you can grab the direct selection tool, which is located over here, and you can grab these individual points like this to move this stroke around like this to change the direction in which way it's pointing and so on and so forth. So let me undo that. If you want to change the color of your arrow, just change the stroke fill color, which is located right here. Just double click that box and you can change this to whatever color you'd like. Let's make this a, a pinkish red. And there you go, now we have a little arrow. So if you want to curve this arrow, one thing you can do is let me bring this out a little more. I'm going to come over here, I'm going to hold a click over the pen tool until we get this little flyout menu and I'm going to choose the anchor point tool. Select on that and you'll notice this blue line going through the arrow like that. You can just click and drag that blue line to give it a bend like that and you can make curved arrows using these handles right here like that. And when you're finished, you can go to the select tool and you can scale this down if you want. You can rotate it transform it and use it in any other way that you would use any other stroke or object. So I think that should do it for this tutorial. That's how you can go about creating quick and easy arrows using Adobe Illustrator. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.